Today I'm going to check out the Kamen Rider Gadak sector from Kamen Rider Kabuto. Now Kamen Rider Gadak is the fifth rider to appear in the series. Uh, at first the Gadak sector becomes very violent, uh, so violent that it had to be contained in this special room. Um, any any time when a person tries to summon it in that containment room, he would get hurt. Uh, for example, Kagami he tried it the first time he got hurt. Um, I, I, he got the Gadak sector when he was trying to save this kid in this factory uh, until he realized that the kid that he was trying to rescue was actually the worm. So the worm killed Kagami as well, the other worm that was trying to mimic Kagami, and then. Uh, they left him for dead until this mysterious man comes out of nowhere puts the belt around the almost near death Kagami and then the belt just revives him and then after that uh, Kagami confronts the two worms and he summons the the Gadak sector and that's how it becomes Kamen Rider Gadak now uh, besides that this is my first henshin belt uh, that I bought um, as well, uh, my favorite writer of the series, second to Kabuto. I just know, I mean, he has so much stuff that Kabuto doesn't, you know. He has those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those cutters, which is really cool. I mean, it's just spectacular. So, anyway, I'm about to open the box, so I'm going to pause it for a little bit. So, here we go. Okay, now I just opened the box, and as you can see, you got the Gadak Sector. Now, same with the Kabuto sector, this is also from the same beetle species. As you can see, this is a stacked beetle. Um, same with the Kabuto sector, it has the same functionalities, um, but a different design, as you can see. Um, if you look in the bottom of Gatak's feet, there is no buttons. The only button to initiate the rider kick is in the side here, which is this one. Also, you have a LED display right here, which is awesome. Um, also, uh, you got these jet propulsions uh, right in the back of Gatak, whereas Kabuto has the jet propulsions when the, the Kabuto sector's wings open. So, all right, I'm just gonna turn on the thing. If you want to turn on the Gatak sector, this is but there's the switch here in the back. You just uh, turn it on like this, and it makes the sound. There you go. So. I'm going to show you the basic functions without the belt. So just uh, open the horns from either side like this. Press the button. Alright, on to the henshin sequence. So henshin. All right, now to the cast off. Cast off. Rider kick. Put on. And take it out by pressing these two buttons here in the belt. And there you go. And it flies away. Um, you know, if you're a, a Kamen Rider Kabuto fan, as well as a Gadak fan, I definitely recommend it. Now, for those of you wondering where can I get the Gadak sector, well, luckily, uh, Banda Asia just reissued the Kamen Rider Kabuto toy line. Uh, you can find the Kabuto sector as well as the Zabi sector online now from a Hong Kong seller. Um, but I don't know when this one will come out. Uh, they recently just released the Drake sector already, so it might be a possibility that they might release uh, the Gadak sector right around maybe February or, or March. I, I'm not really sure of the dates, but yeah, they, they're reissued. The only difference between the Asia and the Japanese version is that the box doesn't have uh, the toy seal of approval on it. And if you look in the back, it will tell you the phone number for Bandai Asia. And that's pretty much it. Uh, 
toy wise is pretty much the same as you would buy the Japanese version of the toy nothing new any nothing nothing special or anything it's pretty much the same thing so all right that's about it join me next time or I will review the uh, the Kabuto sector as well as the hopper sector so this is Sentai 2020 and I'm out